good evening everyone so let's begin with our presentation session for now we have utsav only utsav are you ready with your presentation utsav are you ready if you are ready with your presentation you can start your presentation I guess there is some network issue. Let's wait. Hello, good evening, ma'am. Can I start my presentation? Yeah, yeah, sure. You can start. Just a second, ma'am. Yeah, sure. Ma'am, is my screen visible? Yes, your screen is visible. So, uh, first of all, I want to, before beginning my presentation, I want to interact with my audience. So, can anyone guess uh, what this image is about or what it means? So, it basically represents uh, Bombay Stock Exchange. And then moving on further. So, can anyone now guess who this might be? So, uh, this person is uh, like the famous series of the uh, the scam 1992 series. This person is Hassan Mehta, and that um, series was basically based on a stock market scam. So, my name is Utsav, and uh, today I'll be talking about my topic that is stock screener. So, you might be wondering why I showed that uh, showed that previous images that basically representing stocks. So. As it uh, relates to my presentation today, so my topic today is uh, to develop a stock screener, and I'm from a Python developer team. <clears throat> so, what is uh, my table of contents, and I'll be discussing these um, one one by one. So, like in uh, everyday world, uh, most of the people are nowadays are keen about investing in stocks. And for that, we need to research basically that what company stocks are doing good and um, what company is in losses. And uh, we have some basic constraints that uh, we need to, that we want to put in so that we can find a specific data we are looking for so that we can make our informed choices. So stock screener is a basically a powerful tool for traders and investors so that traders can basically put their criteria or the constraints they want and then based on the criteria they get the data <clears throat> and they can make their informed choices so as i already talked about the need it basically saves our time first of all and um, it also like basically we can like i have already told we can put constraints and based on that constraint like we want some data uh, of company like let's uh, take an example of apple uh, we want its data from 2020 to 1st January to like two days um, up till date. So based, uh, we can put this criteria in that application and based on that it will fetch the data and provide it uh, with provide us with the data. And it then can also like uh, um, uh, what it can also do is like it can also save our time by providing us easy access to the data. So 
the key uh, methods of this application is criteria selection like i've already talked about it the based on we can put in our criteria uh, on what we want our like data retrieval to be of and then uh, based on that criteria it will retrieve the data and also we uh, the data which will be retrieved will have a lot of um, um, raw data that we do not want so based uh, on our criteria it will also sort like uh, let's suppose we want data from 2012 to till date and it will fetch data that is confirmed but uh, it might also give us data like uh, first it will show us 2018's data then 2017's and 2016 it will not be sorted so we will be sorting it um, like in an ascending order so that it will be easier for us to understand but the, um, what we want to do with the data and it will also alert with uh, providers alert notifications like there are in stock market what happens is the price goes up and down uh, regularly and very frequently so we can put an, uh, an alert like if the price drops below uh, currently uh, let's take an example our stock is being traded at 100 rupees and we can we want to buy it at 90 rupees so we can we can put an alert uh, through that application that you should alert us when the uh, this particular stocks hit a 90 rupees price mark so then it will <clears throat> provide us with an alert we can put different alerts like emails and phone numbers and uh, all that telegram notifications and it will also uh, give us a visualization on like how our data will be represented to us specifically <clears throat> So how we develop our application? First, we'll like import our different libraries that we uh, that we uh, which will help us to like uh, compute all the data. So first is pandas. It what it does it it provides a data analysis. So then it is numpy. It is like for a um, com mathematical computation. Then we have uh, imported by finance. It is like for finance data retrieval that we are specifically working upon right now. And then is my matplotlib for like um, pie charts and all. Then based on that, by finances are basically the API of the Yahoo Finance. <clears throat> so it will help us retrieve the data and fetch the data. And then third step is we will prepare the data like sorting and all that filters are based on our criteria. Then on that, we'll basically develop a model, evaluate the model and deploy. I'll be showing how the, it looks like later. So I've basically um, talked about all the libraries about what they do and what they are about. So Pandas, as I've talked about, it is about data manipulation, data manipulation and analysis. NumPy is about scientific computing. Why finance is uh, for financial data. And uh, there's also a library called NSEPy. It is also for the financial data retrieval, but uh, we have used why finance in this application. So let's move on to our demo and I'll explain the code one by one. Ma'am, is my code visible? Okay, ma'am. So I have imported or I imported all the different libraries. Pandas, as I've already explained it for like, and data analysis by finance for the finance data retrieval. And daytime is for like, uh, specifically sorting about our dates on what we want from what date to what date we want the data to be about. So in our application, I have been, uh, like already put in some uh, stock market, like specific stocks and how they are like pronounced and spelled. So I already put in a list and these are some company stocks. And then I have also taken a, another constraint. It is uh, called start date and an end date. So this day today will what we'll do. It will fetch our today's date. And start with date we can all uh, we can specify uh, explicitly put it inside it <clears throat> so now i created a function called import data and it has various constraints it will take from this area and so <clears throat> df is a but so now from this part to this part is will like take from our list the list is stocks it will uh, take a specific like what is happening here is it will like take a the acc and then it will search for it uh, for the data 
and the criteria we are putting and there is a so Sorry, sir, there is some internet issues. I cannot hear you. Our application. Sir? I guess there is some network issue. I cannot hear you. Please repeat. And should I start over again? Yeah, where you left uh, on this function, uh, you can start from there, sir. Ma'am, from here, the imported. Yeah, yeah. Okay, ma'am. So, like, um, I have created an uh, function called import data based on our like parameters. <clears throat> now, we have a for loop here. I have taken another constraint called tries. So, what tries does is like, uh, we have taken a specific portion, like a specific key from our list. And based on that key, it will search for the data, like fetching it from the API. Then I have taken another three tries. It will like run this for loop three times. If like it doesn't work in first time, then it can also run two more times so that uh, NM data is fetched. So now we have a draw data. It will all it will fetch all the data that we want based on a criteria. Like our criteria is basically the start date and the end date. So it will download our file. So when if it doesn't happen, it will like provide us with this error called like uh, the file cannot be downloaded. Like error downloading a file for the stocks this and this. So it will like sleep. And then again, if this happens, it will run again this uh, retries the for loop two more times, and it will download the data. And when our data is downloaded, this if condition will run, and it will check if the the file which we are putting our data downloaded in data in. If it has something or not, then it will like show us all the data. It will print that you have definitely um, like fetched the data and you can move on to another stock from this particular list. And then when, when this all ends, when we have like uh, traversed through all the um, uh, parts of our list from the stocks, then it will return the file and then our file we, which we have created will be downloaded in a with the name of data uh, NSE historical data. So let me just run the it is scanning all the So like, like ma'am, as you can see, uh, based on all our, like the list, it has downloaded all the uh, data for our specific criteria that we are like, we have the start date of 2023, 1st January and 1st of Jan. And we have downloaded all the data and the uh, file which gets created is this. So it has a, all the data that we want uh just a second man. so like it shows us basically uh on what price the stock started that day based on the the highest amount it reached that day the lowest amount it reached and the closing position of that stock particularly and on the volume that has been generated on the particular date it it um it shows us all the data for the specific years and specific months so uh this is a demo Moving on to my presentation. So my conclusion of my presentation is that uh, basically we can get all the data we want uh, in a very easy manner. 
and it will save us a lot of time based on the and it will uh, moreover it will provide us the data with a specific with the criteria we like give it and uh, it will save us a lot of time and also uh, we have already like i showed you the code uh, we have used a lot of algorithms like pand and all the libraries based on the we have like created all the files and the problem i like i have already showed you the nsepy and the y finance a uh, like libraries so while creating the, the challenges are faced in project is while creating the file the code um while using the nsepy that nsepy is specifically for indian like finances so i was not able to download that file so i had to like uh, use another library called y finance that is for international finances as well so that was the challenges i faced in this application and moreover uh, what we can enhance this application is we can put more criteria like um, more and more like uh, which i showed is today's date about date um, more criteria is what we can put is like uh, some particular percentage if the stock is um, growing this percentage then you should like fetch the data so man this was uh, uh, about my project so if uh, anyone has any questions so please feel free to ask me sir are you done with your presentation Yes, ma'am. I'm done with the presentation. Okay. Can you let me know that when your presentation is scheduled for this topic, this talk is screener. Um, my uh, previously I uh, did schedule my presentation like two days ago. Uh, are you not remember the date? Actually, I can look see uh the date as well as the record in DB. That's why I'm asking. My date like. Request them for the presentation today. It's confirmed now that you scheduled the presentation. Yes, and you received them. Okay, then I will check. Yes. Okay, rest of your presentation was quite good, and I can see our improvement uh, from the before one presentation. And uh, one more thing you can do, you can also add a reference slide for the reference purpose. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay, rest. Do you have any questions? No, ma'am. That was all for my side. Okay. Okay, okay. So I will provide you response and feedback on your email. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay, very good. And do you have any like uh, specific things I can change like in the next presentation? Uh, rest, uh, rest, uh, rest from my side. Everything you covered this time, like you added a short story, and you maintained a flow that I was expecting. Uh, rest everything was okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay, very good. Um, since we do not have any more interns, so we will wait for a few minutes. Uh, other, if we don't get any more interns in our need, so we will wrap up our session. So let's wait for a few more minutes.
actually we don't have any more interns um, so we wrap up our session for today thank you so much everyone